video last night um, regarding what I called um, living in the land of infinite possibilities and and I got a question on that and I wanted to expand a little bit on the video and the question. The question was, so what happens when we are able to not live in um, interpretations or projections when what happens when we re re when we refrain from interpreting qualifying you know saying if something is good or not good or positive or negative or in general when we stop interpreting and the idea is not that we stop that there is nothing happening in terms of interpretations but where we become sort of what I call mentally toilet totally trained whereas when we interpret we are able to be at that moment sort of recycle it and be aware that it's an interpretation and it's not the thing itself like so it's not reality but it's the way I am inter coloring it in so when we d are able to do that we we dial into what we call infinite possibilities, which is sort of kind of illogical because you're not confining anything that space with your interpretations anymore, you know, like if it's able to happen or not, and uh, or if it's ha having a good day or not a good day, it's and, and and we know that when you qualify with good, you're always sort of by proxy also invoking the negative, the bad, because they're one. And the best way to explain that, and which is the way I wanted to like answer that question of what happens when we stop interpreting or stop living in those interpretations. The, the new age would tend to take it that we go into this oneness with everything, but it's really that we connected the self with the capital S, which is the infinite self, if you wish. We get to know who we are in the w spiritually. So it's not a, a complete less self, less wholeness. And I was uh, the one of the ways to explain that is intuition, we become intuitive because we're hearing that voice that sounds before the thinking or the feeling about something, but also in terms of tennis, uh, if we play tennis and we don't play to win or lose, you see what, that's the way to really bring it home, the idea, because when we're playing in terms of winning or losing, there's always like an expectation and which really like ejects us out of the self zone. And you can feel it in tennis, the moment you start to be afraid of making errors or be too anxious about winning a point, you really lose the joy for the game, the, the game that can be played completely from ins inside. And regardless of outcome, you know, and that really gets us closer to the whole feeling of the true self. It's almost like saying that you have this perfect stroke inside of you and this perfect swing but you by virtue of being caught in that outer layer what I call like this bipolar layer which is an, the level of energy that is really th um, harmful because the highs are so high and the lows are so high low that it's impossible to remain centered and really core hit the core of the self. Like in music, like hitting the real chords the, that the song is intended to be. So in that sense of tennis, you can become, it's not carefree, but you can become free again because you're not afraid of the outcome. And this is why it's a tragedy what we're doing with school, schools where we are 
condemning these children to work for grades it's really pulling them out of their true core self and getting them so anxious or so cramped up or so arrogant if there's a high grade and so insecure if there's a low grade and the whole school being based on that is it it's a a prison for the self as a confinement of this true self that cannot get out like that and this is a So in terms of the tennis, uh, it's a beautiful way to look at it, that if one could live completely without theories and thoughts and thinking, one would connect to the deepest core in the self, which is, and at that core, it's what we call, we don't do, it's not nothing doing, we don't have to contrive, everything happens freely, that's what pure, pristine nature alludes to. That's where the true spiritual self lives in complete devoid of any confinement. And that's when this pure energy comes out of us. That's when we're free. And It's really con that's when we connect to the true self, and uh, so we are the whole society. Everything we're doing in this society is wrong, in the sense that it's all about money and goals and winning or losing and being positive and negative. It's really a, a prison for your mind, and so because of which we cannot play freely and really be who we really are, which is the greatest thing there is. Namaste.